It says a block of gold with a mass of 20 kilograms. So you have a huge, big block of gold, very heavy. It's a temperature of negative 15 Celsius, so it's very cold. It's dropped into a container of steam at 100 degrees Celsius. So you have some container, it has uh, gaseous steam in there, okay, with a mass of 80 grams. So basically, uh, it's, doesn't, it's not very heavy compared to the, the block of gold. It says, what is the final temperature of the mixture? So this is a little bit backwards from the other example. The other example, we had a cold cube of ice, the previous one, uh, problem 10. We had a cold cube of ice placed in the warm water. The ice warmed up, melted, and then they finally reached the temperature. Here, what's going to happen, you have the container of steam. Okay, you have a block of gold. A block of gold is thrown in there. What's going to happen? The gold is very cold, so that steam is going to condense onto the gold and the steam is going to turn into water, right? You're going to extract heat from the steam and it's going to turn into water. This, the gold is going to warm up, the steam is going to cool down, you're going to come to some final equilibrium temperature. So it says, what is the final temperature of the mixture? How much heat was extracted from the steam? So again, we can say heat gained by gold is equal to heat lost by steam. So heat gained by gold, mass of gold, specific heat of gold. The gold in this case is going to experience no change of phase. It's the object that is cooling that is experiencing the change of phase, whereas in the previous example, the object that was warming is experiencing the change of phase. Okay, so you have mass of gold, specific heat of gold, times delta T of gold, the, the heat lost by the steam. Well, since the steam starts at 100 Celsius, what do you have to first do to it? You have to condense it, right? That's called the heat of vaporization, to go from liquid to gas or gas back to liquid. So the mass of the steam times the heat of vaporization, it's called LV. Okay, what's the heat of vaporization? of water, it's going to be equal to 540 calories per gram. Uh, remember the heat of fusion of uh, ice was 79.7 calories per gram. So it is a lot harder to vaporize water, to take it from its liquid form, completely break the bonding of the molecules and change it to gas, rather than to take it from solid ice and make it into water. So ratio of that 540 to about 80 is a ratio of what? It's about seven, approximately seven, you can kind of say. So it is about six, uh, about seven times harder to um, vaporize water, to make it into gas, versus to melt ice. And the same thing goes with the, uh, the reverse direction, to go from gas to liquid and from liquid back to um, solid, right? Seven times harder. Okay, so we're going to put mass of steam times the heat of, fusion, uh, heat of vaporization of, uh, of steam, or we could say heat of vaporization of water, uh, plus once the steam condenses and goes back to liquid, it turns into water, right? So we have mass of steam, times the specific heat of water, times change in temperature. So we have the mass of the gold, which is uh, 20. Now let's, since everything is in grams, let's change this to uh, grams. 20 kilogram is 20,000 grams, right? So we're gonna make 20,000, the specific heat of gold, 0.03 calories per gram. Change in temperature, Tf minus what? Now, notice here you have Tf is the final temperature minus the initial temperature is what? Negative 15, right? So we're going to put negative 15. That's something that someone might forget. They say Tf minus 15, right? You need to have change in temperature Tf minus negative 15, okay? And that's equal to the mass of the steam, which is 80 times the heat of vaporization of water or steam. That would be 540. 
plus 80 times 1, which is the specific heat of water, and the change in temperature, again, to make it uh, positive, we do what? Its initial temperature, when it turned into water, was what? 100, so that's its initial, minus the final temperature. Well, the final temperature, we don't know. That's what we're solving for. We have Tf, okay? So again, we multiply out all of these. 20,000 times 0.03. So we get 600 here. Six hundred TF, and then the two minuses cancel. It become plus, and then uh, times uh, I distribute this into the fifteen plus nine thousand is equal to eighty times five forty forty three thousand two hundred, and then we get what plus. 80 times 100, that's what's, uh, what is that going to be? Uh, 8,000, right? Eight, three zeros, minus what? 80 times TF, 80 TF. Okay, so what is that going to be? Well, this uh, TF goes over here, becomes 680 TF. Then you add these two, 43,200 plus 8,000. Then you subtract this from that, right? Minus 9,000. Then you divide 680 into that. That gives you the final temperature. 62.06 degrees Celsius. Okay? <coughs> Okay, so that is the final uh, temperature. So what happened here? The big, huge block of gold went all the way from negative 15 all the way to 62. That's a big change. That's because its specific heat is very, very low. The steam condensed from 100, turned into water. Okay, there wasn't really that much steam. There was only 80 grams of steam, 20,000 grams of gold, right? So the steam turned into water, then cooled down all the way to 62.6. .6. When you open the box, what's gonna happen? You're just gonna find a block of gold. You're gonna find little uh, drops of water there on it. The steam has condensed all the way down. And now the block of gold is gonna be pretty warm, okay? So you can see, uh, this is kind of explains why you really burn, your hand really burns when you put it in a, some amount of steam. It doesn't really burn as much when you put it in a uh, amount of water at 100 Celsius, right? But when you put your hand in a certain amount of steam, the steam condenses, turns into water, releases a lot of heat, right? And your hand warms up a lot. Just, just like the gold warmed all the way from negative 15 to 62, same thing happens to you. So the steam really, really burns a lot, much more than a hot sample of water does, okay? Thank you.